So I've just actually recorded my city video from earlier in the week. It's only been two, three days ago and I've had a bit of time. So I thought I might as well go through the entire city whilst the recent updates are still fresh in my head. So we're going to get this onto the desk and take a look at every single module. Don't worry if you haven't seen all the way back to the first one with a friend's flat. We'll be covering it in this video. And if you aren't already aware, I did publish an exclusive members video yesterday and I'll be starting to do this once every month. So if you would like a look at behind the scenes on the channel here, definitely consider becoming a member and you also get your name on a 3D printed plaque. Seeing the unit without the city just looks so empty. And if you're wondering about what's next after the city, well, we still have quite a bit to work on. If the camera will focus, we've got a Star Wars mock going on bottom left which i'm still trying to design a giant aat i need to knuckle down on that once this city is built we got the minecraft world as well which is just bottom right and that's got a lot of work to do and then we've also got something to do with the harry potter corner i've got a few plans going on but right now we're focusing on the city and it feels like it was just a week ago we were doing this when we had two other towers two other half towers on the left and in fact it was only a couple of weeks ago we've spent the last month building the coruscant tower the month before on naboo and then we also fiddled around with a few other things and was building tatooine tower before that making our city into more of a star wars planet or a star wars city and a couple of days ago you would have seen i officially named it adding the taylor town signs one on the left one on the right and i do think it looks really cool with them. But the first tower that I started work on was actually this sick complex over on the right. Central Perk started it all, the calf at the bottom, and then we worked our way up before expanding. I'm pretty sure in saying the Lego store was the next one. You can't have a city or a town without a Lego store. Well, ironically enough, there isn't a Lego store near me. This is the closest I have to a Lego store without going into London, pretty much. But then we started a few different towers. We had a superhero food tower. We had a few others. We were starting a Lego movie tower with themes of Ninjago, Dreams, and more. And then we spun it into a Star Wars direction. So I think we're going to start by taking a look at the Friends Tower and then we'll go on in more or less a chronological order. For those of you that have already seen this, I will be mentioning the improvements I want to make to these towers as I go along as well. So don't click off just yet. If you stick through everything you already know, there will be a few new things sprinkled inside. So you can see inside the central perk, it's just a miniature version. I've shrunk down the Lego ideas set kept all the important things including the couch including the second couch as well just the other side of the window and ironically enough I have put this table outside on purpose in the show you're not allowed to eat outside or drink outside so I've added a little table because in my town you can take your food outside and enjoy the busy street being next to the Lego store but I've included all the printed pieces you can see most of them on the back wall there and going forward this is going to be, for the most part, mostly unchanged. It's the next floor, which is Joey and Chandler's flat, that is going to be probably the most different because if I place this on top, by the way, if you haven't seen any of these videos before, I don't use any stud connections on the top of my modular blocks because what I do is I plate off the bottoms to catch, I guess, the next floor up in the tiles of the previous floor that locks it into place i guess they can fall up if i were to flip this upside down but i mean it's a pretty big city i don't think i could lift this all in one without the road plate falling apart anyway so that's why there are no stud connections on top of any of these modulars and i just don't like the front of that flat it does remind me a lot of the tatooine tower at the minute especially because of that similar tan color and we do have it with a Jedi Temple. We have it with Naboo. I might make the Tatooine one a bit darker at some point. But I also have more of this tan colour thanks to the Master Builders Moss Isley set that I got. Which sort of kick-started my passion again for LEGO. And ultimately led to me starting this channel. But I don't know really what I'm going to replace this wall with. I had some ideas of doing a billboard. I could make this a members board but i feel like that takes away from the members board we already have and i don't exactly want to get rid of it 
just yet, but I will also be switching up the shape for the next floor. I don't really know what I can do to switch up the shape. I don't want it to be flat. I like these dark tan tiles that protrude out of the wall. Perhaps I can add something a bit like that going up, make it look like an older building, but I think I'll probably end up going with brick considering the other towers on top all got a brick side just to make it match in to the rest of the tower and almost theme it up so i might also get rid of the bricks on the floor next to it but as you can see it slots in fairly easy there's a little difficulty at the back and again i'm not quite sure actually i've just realized something my city has been like this for ages we have a cup on the back right of the lads flat so the pieces that I'm using to keep this afloat just aren't going to work. So this is what the bottom of the floor looks like. And as you can see, I've got some corner plates which will latch into the floor above it. And originally they went this way round, which meant the corner plates on the side would clash with the tiles on them bottles. But I have switched what corner they go on. So now it will slot in and just two corner plates is all you need or not even corner plates. You can use two by twos. You can really use anything just to get them to slot in. Uh, it seems that I've slotted that one in on the stud, so I'll fix that up. Now we can finally place it back in the city. It's a good thing I was making this video, otherwise I would have had no idea that that wasn't on properly. And that could have just slid forward at any time, crushing the minifigures in front. I guess there's already this speeder bike accident on the road. We'll look at the road later though because we've got one more tower to place on here and that is the friends tower we haven't even taken a look at the flats i'll give you a quick look at the flats the instructions for these are up on rubricable members do get them free with the brick tier members which all members have access to the discord and many of the other perks but the instructions are only for the higher members now this top floor if i can remove the roof i think the wall does come off as well but this is the big bang theory flat which you can see the wall does come off completely at the front to get that angle you're used to seeing of the show there is also a kitchen on the right hand side that this does clip back together and then this sits on top of the free friends flats i have been questioning whether i should have done another friends scene like another apartment ross's apartment joey's apartment but I decided to keep the Big Bang Theory flat because it works with the other three and is again another show very similar to Friends that I really enjoy. Now moving on to the Lego City, this is going to be fairly quick because at the top you can see Emmett is building. There is no way to view the inside of this easily. So I definitely recommend going back and watching that because the roof is built with just chairs. Likewise, this was meant to be a Lego museum here. You can see there's a figure that's meant to be me. We do have Lester from the Lester Square store. And we also have Homer. I'm not really sure why I put Homer up here, but I guess Homer's chilling on the balcony as well. We didn't do anything to the inside of this. I can open it up and show you just a dark, empty room. But the Lego store is something that we'll have to crack open. And even though there's a massive window at the front of the store, some details you just can't get a good look at unless you pop the top off and... Oh no, it seems we've got a builder minifigure station that has fallen over on the left there. But we do have two of them. There is also the pick a brick wall, which is a must have for a Lego store. And then we've got a picture of a London bus and this mural on the side I used with a bunch of spare pieces that I got from the pick a brick wall. One of the last times we went to the Lego store. And if I pop off this floor again, no studs, it makes it such an easy connection. You can see the top of Big Ben as well as there's a make and take section just at the back where previously we had, well, last year, September 2023, we had a few Harry Potter characters build in their wands. We got a display up front with a few different Lego sets on the shelves. You can see the sticker pieces I got from an old yellow Lego truck set. And then we have the big red brick front left. And I really like the fact that I was managed to fit the Big Ben in the corner they're going up to the second floor and we also have a logo just out front again from that same yellow truck showing people that the lego store is nearby this is where it gets really fun because we're moving over to the star wars towers but you'll notice 
in the boo, I'm pretty sure in the bottom of the Coruscant Tower as well, and in the Tatooine Tower here. The Star Wars minifigures aren't there like they were when I recorded the original video. So let's go over the new scenes I've created. Working top down is definitely going to be easier. And you can see Porky Pig there acting as the new crime syndicate of Tatooine, I guess, with a few other Looney Tune characters. I think there is a total of six of them. All right, I must have removed one. There was definitely someone on the right there. I can't remember who I had there, but once again, no studs, an absolute flawless connection. And we've also got Porky Pig here running Watto's wares. I guess he has a side hustle selling different parts that perhaps he's collected from all the different crime groups around Tatooine. A few different mini dolls there as well to represent the aliens such as Qui-Gon Padme that came from Offworld in Phantom Menace. And I think the mini dolls works compared to the typical Lego minifigures. Taking off that floor, we then have the Luke Lars Homestead room. R2 still in an oil buff. I have so many R2s with a few different robots with him and Hawkeye going straight to that chest where you can see you've got Luke's father's lightsaber. Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber, a few other details in there. But this is quite simple. I'm hoping to start work on this next week where we will talk a bit more about changing the size we also have jasmine as well in the corner which i don't remember putting her there but i guess it fills up the space quite nicely with a few of those new crates from the 2024 no from the mando battle pack we got this year and then we have the cantina the minifigures have been moved out for that other display i'll have to populate it we've got homer moving out of the cantina but as you can see plenty of seats there's a stage and I'm thinking of moving the door to the left hand side, not to cut off the bar. Maybe we can even get an extra door there that 3P and R2 hired in. But again, that is a job for next week. And because I'm recording this video the same day as the last city update, I don't know if anyone has recommended anything for the roof. So this could be completely different by the time this video goes out. But we could always copy something like the top of the Tatooine Tower roof for the Coruscant roof and make it a bit more well, just like something we'll see in Coruscant rather than Tatooine. I have to keep an eye on that and perhaps we can work something out by the next city update. We've got Palpatine's office on the top. We've recently gone over that so I'll link the video at the end for you if you do want to watch that and we've also got the Senate building which again fairly recently done. I'm not sure I can really show it off without the images so if you don't want to watch the video Go over to Instagram and check out the images for both of these because they do look really cool. Now the floor below it is going to be really easy to do. Well, hopefully it's going to be really easy to do because we just pop off the front here and you can see we've got a brand new council. If I can shed some light in there, we've got C-3PO, Chewbacca and the Mandalorian instead of Yoda, Kiani Mundi and Mace Windu. And that does look really funny, but not much else in terms of space in this council room in the top of the temple but it's really handy having this front wall that just eventually clips in there and i think it looks pretty good the ground floor is modeled after the holocron library in the jedi archives and i think it does look also pretty good much like the top floor i'm going to be saying that a lot because i am happy with how the city's coming along but we've got this underworld alleyway on the left some crates at the back and i'm still thinking of creating some sort of arch over the top so we can build a smaller city to create a backdrop for it but this does really draw people towards the front of this if we could get some lights in this tower and in the city in general those translucent pieces will look really really good from the front and likewise with some of the rest of it as well the lego store will look really good lit up because at the minute it's just quite dark to peer through the windows now the last tower is a pretty small one because at the top you can see we only have enough room for a table and too many figures to sit down also i've just noticed that the owl is or the eagle even behind the owl is laying down how long is that been like that because i haven't noticed that when filming a few of my other videos some of these are different like the plates that are holding up the friends flat 
they get away with it because we haven't been at that side of the sea for a while. But something like this eagle laying over is going to have been in most of the shots. Well, at least it's not a problem anymore. But we will be taking a look at the rest. The reason I panned up is to show you the mini kit that was hiding underneath this roof. And I'm very happy with how this has come out. We only have the space for the table two minifigures, as I've said, but we do get an extra two minifigures on the balcony. There we go. You can see them now. We've got this little Otagunga fish tank as well on the right, which is somewhat keeping up the whole fish tank in the city, the giant fish tank in the city. And then we have this meeting in here, which is just packed with a bunch of minifigures. Again, Check out the photos on Instagram to see these scenes we created in Star Wars and then a mechanics workshop, which I will take off this tower and show you, hopefully keeping the rest of it in one piece. And you can see there are a few little N1, I guess, sort of remote control vehicles and a few other crates and different things you expect to find in a mechanic store like a workbench. And right at the back, we've got those giant blast doors that reveal more. And I really like the detail in either side. Now we couldn't have a city, could we, without having busy streets and some vehicles in front. We've got the Bad Batch speeder here. We've got Mando's, I can't remember the name of the speeder, but the one that he rides in the Mandalorian when he's on Tatooine. We've then got a Bark speeder. We got Luke's land speeder. We got Han's speeder. We got this bathtub from that one scene in Star Wars. I'm sure you all remember it. Very popular scene. It's arguably the best scene of Star Wars with a rubber ducky at the front, which is a really nice touch. And so many minifigures. Gandalf, Frodo. In fact, let me know what different themes you can see in here. And we're not just talking about Lego themes. We're talking about pop culture themes and just some random bunches of minifigures all across this street. So if I can get a nice large view. There we go. Pause this, see how many themes you can spot and comment them down below. But I'm really liking how it's coming across. I've just realized Buzz is in the wrong position as well. I must have switched around these two floors, but Buzz looks a bit better closer to the ground floor. So I'll probably leave these this way around when I am redoing it. I don't know if that will work, but I guess only time will tell. And that is the city so far thank you so much for following it along and i guess i can just wrap up the video here there's not much to say i cannot wait to start renovating tatooine tower next week check out all the videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always